Welcome aboard, fellow enthusiasts, as we embark on another incredible video. Welcome to our video on NHL season. We're thrilled to have you here. The NHL season was the 14th season of the National Hockey League. Ten teams played 44 games each. The Montreal Canadiens beat the Chicago Blackhawks three games to two in the best of five Stanley Cup finals for their second consecutive Stanley Cup victory. Get ready for a thought-provoking discussion as we delve into league business and its impact on our understanding. Art Ross bitterly complained about the Stanley Cup Finals setup. His team had been vanquished in two consecutive games by the Montreal Canadiens in. As a result, the Board of Governors decided to make the final a best-of-five series. The Great Depression was starting to take its toll on the NHL. In attempts to solve financial problems, the Pittsburgh Pirates moved to Philadelphia and became the Philadelphia Quakers, but there was nothing about the team to win games or fans. It was intended that the team stay in Philadelphia only until a new arena was built in Pittsburgh. The arena was never built, and the team folded after only one season in the new city. The state of Pennsylvania would be without an NHL team until the league doubled in size 36 years later. The Ottawa Senators were in a similar financial boat but instead of relocating, they sold a star asset and future Hall of Famer, King Clancy, to the Toronto Maple Leafs for $35,000 and two players. Even after the sale of Clancy, the Senators' owners put the team up for sale for $200,000, although no bids approached anywhere near that figure. The team would suspend operations before the start of the next season. The Detroit Cougars changed the team name to the Detroit Falcons. The Canadian Amateur Hockey Association CAHA sent W.A. Fry and W.A. Hewitt to the 1930 NHL General Meeting to seek a better working agreement. The CAHA suggested that players remain as amateurs for one season after graduating from junior ice hockey, and in return the CAHA would permit its amateurs to try out and practice with professional teams. Hewitt subsequently met multiple times with NHL President Frank Calder, who saw merit in Hewitt's request to keep players in amateur hockey, and continued to discuss having a professional amateur agreement. Let's now turn our gaze towards regular season and explore the fascinating connections it has to offer. Harry Morins led the league in scoring. Dick Irvin started his career in coaching with Chicago and they finished second in the American division. He resigned at season's end after having taken the Black Hawks to the finals. Let's now enter the realm of final standings and discover the fascinating stories it has to tell. GP equal games played, W equal wins, L equal losses, T equal ties, S equal points, GF equal goals for, GA equal goals against teams that qualified for the playoffs are highlighted in bold. Now, let's shift our perspective and explore record versus opponents through a fresh lens, unlocking new perspectives. 1930-31 NHL records Team Boston Chicago Detroit M Canadians M Maroons NY Americans NY Rangers Ottawa Philadelphia Toronto Our focus now turns to playoffs, an important aspect of our discussion. On March 26, during the second game of the best of five series between the Bruins and Canadians, coach GM Art Ross of Boston pulled his goalie for an extra attacker while down with 40 seconds left in the final period. The attempt was unsuccessful. This marked the first time in Stanley Cup play that a goalie was pulled for an extra attacker. With our curiosity peaked, let's embark on a dedicated exploration of Toronto Maple Leafs versus a Chicago Black Hawks and its fascinating intricacies. Toronto Maple Leafs versus a Chicago Black Hawks. Let's now venture into the realm of a New York Rangers versus Montreal Maroons and explore the fascinating intricacies it holds. A New York Rangers versus Montreal Maroons. Brace yourself for an enlightening exploration of a Boston Bruins vs. Montreal Canadiens as we dive into its profound implications. A Boston Bruins vs. Montreal Canadiens. Brace yourselves for the next chapter, where we'll be dissecting a Chicago Black Hawks vs. a New York Rangers. A Chicago Black Hawks vs. a New York Rangers. 
In this segment, we'll be unraveling the complexities of Stanley Cup Finals and exploring its multifaceted nature. In the final series, the Chicago Black Hawks took an early two games to one lead in the newly expanded best of five Stanley Cup Finals but the Montreal Canadiens came back and won the series three games to two for their second consecutive Stanley Cup win. In the upcoming section, we'll be shining a light on awards. Howie Morims won the Hart Trophy for the second time in his career. Frank Boucher won the Lady Bing for the fourth consecutive year. Roy Waters won the Vizina Trophy for the one and only time in his career. Let's now shift gears and explore all-star teams through a critical lens, uncovering its strengths and weaknesses. This was the first season that the NHL named its all-stars. Although Roy Waters won the Vizina Trophy for Most Valuable Goaltender, Charlie Gardner and Tiny Thompson were named to the All-Star teams at the goaltender position. First team position Second team Charlie Gardner, Chicago Black Hawks to Tiny Thompson, Boston Bruins Eddie Shaw, Boston Bruins de Silvio Mantha, Montreal Canadiens King Clancy, Toronto Maple Leafs de Ching Johnson, New York Rangers Howie Morans, Montreal Canadiens Celsius Frank Boucher, New York Rangers Bill Cook, New York Rangers R.W. Did Clapper, Boston Bruins Oral Joliet, Montreal Canadiens L.W. Bun Cook, New York Rangers Lester Patrick, New York Rangers Coach Dick Irvin, Chicago Black Hawks. Source, NHL. Brace yourself for a captivating discussion on scoring leaders as we explore its nuances and implications. GP equal games played, G equal goals, A equal assists equal points pim equal penalties in minutes source nhl now it's time to shift gears and explore leading goaltenders note gp equal games played mins equal minutes played ga equal goals against so equal shootouts gaa equal goals against average Player team GPWLT Mins GASOGAA Roy Waters New York Americans 44 18 16 10 27 60 74 81.61 Charlie Gardner Chicago Black Hawks 44 24 17 327 10 78 12 1.73 John Ross Roach New York Rangers 44 19 16 9 27 60 87 71 1.89 George Hainsworth Montreal Canadiens 44 26 10 8 27 40 89 8 1 point nine five tiny thompson boston bruins 44 28 10 6 27 30 93 1 point nine eight lawn shabotan to maple leafs 37 21 8 8 20 386 2 point zero nine source nhl now, let's delve into the intricacies of American division and explore its various aspects. Boston Bruins, Art Ross, Chicago Black Hawks, Emil Iverson, Detroit Falcons, Jack Adams, New York Rangers, Lester Patrick, Philadelphia Quakers, Guba Smeaton. As we transition to the next segment, let's unravel the mysteries surrounding Canadian division and gain a fresh perspective. Montreal Canadiens, Cecil Hart, Montreal Maroons, Duncan Monroe and George Boucher, New York Americans, Eddie Gerard, Ottawa Senators, New Zealand Lalonde and Dave Gill, Toronto Maple Leafs, Art Duncan. The time has come to unravel the secrets behind debuts and gain a deeper understanding. The following is a list of players of note who played their first NHL game enlisted with their first team, asterisk Mark's debut in playoffs Art Chapman, Boston Bruins Doc Rons, Chicago Black Hawks John Sorrell, Detroit Falcons Johnny Gagnon, Montreal Canadiens Paul Haynes, Montreal Maroons Dave Kerr, Montreal Maroons Alex Levinsky, Toronto Maple Leafs Bob Gracie, Toronto Maple Leafs. As we embark on the next leg of our journey, Let's unpack the layers of last games and examine its core elements. The following is a list of players of note that played their last game in the NHL enlisted with their last team Frank Fredrickson, Detroit Falcons Burt McCaffrey, Montreal Canadiens Joe Simpson, New York Americans Babe Die, Toronto Maple Leafs. Share this video with your friends and spread the knowledge.